Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to another one. So this is not going to be a reaction video, this is actually going to be a serious kind of video that I want to uh, make. So this is regarding the SMR. So if you don't know who the SMR is, he was formerly uh, a channel on YouTube where he made like SMO critics slash SMO reviews slash reactions. He's kind of like Super Mario Nick and Ray Rance where they make videos about um, SML, give reviews on videos and stuff like that. And recently, um, I've been seeing videos that have been released sent from Super Mario Nick and just today, Ray Rance regarding what happened to the SMR. And the things that I've heard are not good at all. So Super Mario Nick, a couple days ago, uploaded a video titled, What Happened to the SMR? And in this video, he pretty much explained what happened because it seems like he's the closest uh, person to SMR since they made videos together, they made streams together. So everyone is asking Super Mario Nick, what the hell is going on with Super Mario Nick or Super Mario SMR? So when I first watched this video, I was literally at the gym. I, I was at the gym and I saw this video got uploaded. I was like, okay, this is strange. So I watched the video. I gave the video a watch and holy shit, I was, <laughs> I was baffled at what I just heard. So apparently what Super Mario Nick was saying in his video is that, um, uh, S the SMR was uh, live streaming, uh, reacting to uh, one of his videos, and then he ended his stream. And then a couple hours later, um, the SMR uploaded a video on his channel of his address, like his address. I was like, what? And then after that happened, um, the SMR completely just... He deplatformed. He like he completely just deplatformed. He deleted his YouTube. He deleted his Instagram. He deleted everything. Like he's just gone. He is just straight up gone. And apparently the reason for that is apparently we've learned that SML the SMR is a pedophile. He is a pedophile. He got caught messaging minors. And let me tell you guys this, like according to Super Nick, um, the SMR is nineteen. So, this is bad. But I'm gonna play some clips from uh, the Super Mario uh, Nick's video so you guys can like understand a little bit better about the situation because he explained it better than how I'm explaining it. So I'm gonna show you guys some clips from this video. So yeah, this is Super Mario Nick explaining uh, the situation. So when this whole thing kind of broke down, basically where this all started was uh, the SMR. After he reacted to my top 10 best and worst list on stream, the SMR, um, like a couple hours later, posted his his address to YouTube, which again, nobody is ever, nobody in the history of anything is ever going to post their address on YouTube. Like nobody is going to do that. Nobody's stupid enough to do that, okay? Nobody's gonna do that and I sure as hell know the SMR would never do that. So I said to myself, okay, this guy definitely got hacked, there's something going wrong and like this is really bad, okay? Because he would not, he would not post his address on, on YouTube. Like why would you ever do that, right? So, you know, I sat to myself and I'm like, okay, well, we need to think of something, okay? Because this really isn't good. So I messaged SMR, I'm like, hey, do you know, like, are you okay? Like, is, is everything all right? Like, what's going on? Why is your address on YouTube? Like, this is really bad. And he never answered me. So then that's when I knew something really weird was going on. Um, and I have my conspiracy, which I'll share at the end of the video. I'll explain what I think happened to him just based on what all the evidence is about. But anyway, so again, I talked to him, whatever. He, he doesn't answer me. I'm like, okay, this is not good. You know, people are probably relying on me for results. And anyway, so whatever, we, we continue moving on. And then we start hearing that he's a, he's a P word, okay? Uh, engaging in sexual contact with children or not children, but underage people. Now the SMR is 19, I believe. So for him to be doing this obviously is illegal if the person's under 18 in certain states. I'm not sure what the verdict is everywhere. It might be 16, it might be 18, I'm not sure. Where I'm from, it's 18, so. But um, that's not good, okay? That's really, really bad. And basically stuff got leaked about him, you know? And I, I didn't believe that it was true until I saw the name that was in those videos and I put two and two together and I'm like, okay, yeah, that is the SMR. That is 100% him. Yeah, that that does not sound good at all. I found this video, and it's pretty much a video where it goes more in depth into the into the SMR situation. It shows messages that uh, the SMR has been sending to these uh, underage uh, girls, and yeah, 
he's just straight up grooming. It's really bad. And also, Super Mario Nick mentioned in the video that the SMR wanted to kill himself, like commit suicide. Like he was, he was feeling suicidal. And apparently, um, he actually left a letter for his parents to commit that he was gonna, you know, kill himself. And then uh, one of his parents stopped him from doing that. Holy sh! This is so bad. I heard that he was like, think about like suicide, dude. Like suicide. Like his life's completely ruined, man. And you guys don't understand this, but it's like you guys gotta realize one thing: is like when you have like 30,000 people, whatever, subscribe to you and, you know, over 100,000 viewers on certain videos, 200,000 viewers on certain videos, and your address gets leaked, the A, that's one thing that's completely gonna ruin your life. You might have to move. Like, genuinely, you might have to move. Yeah, this is just horrible. Horrible. It just sounds like it's just getting worse as I'm, like, watching this video. At that point, I was just like, what the hell? Yeah, his life is done. His life's done. And Super Mario Nick feels pretty bad about this because, you know, uh, it seemed like him and the SMR, they were actually pretty good friends. Like, you know, they made videos together. They've been in streams together, I'm assuming. And for this just to happen, that's just horrible. And Super Mario Nick, you know, he doesn't want to get too involved in this to where, like, he's trying to support or defend a predator. He's not trying to be like that. I mean, he's trying to talk to the SMR, try to reach out to him in some sort of way but he doesn't want to get to the point where he's trying to defend a predator because who in the hell would want to do that i was just in disbelief of what i just heard a 19 year old's life is already ruined a 19 year old's life i think he's in university as well i think he goes to school um either ray Rance or super mario nick uh, mentioned about that but dude his life is already ruined he lost he deleted all his social medias. He deleted his YouTube channel with like, what, 30,000 subscribers? And there's messages being leaked of him grooming a minor. Dude, his life's downright bad. Today at the time of recording this, Ray Rance uh, actually released uh, his own video talking about the situation. I'll play a little bit of his, of his video, but if you guys wanna see the full video, then like I said, the link will be down below. So now, I guess former content SML creator DSMR has been accused of messaging minors inappropriately while he's a university student. And ever since he was called out, he has deleted everything. His Instagram, his Twitter, his YouTube channel, especially with 34k subs, all of his socials are now gone. And ever since then, I got people informing me about it and telling me about it. And I thank everybody who told me about the situation. But I already knew that as soon as I came back, I knew I had to talk about the thing that I know everybody wanted me to talk about. The SMR situation. I'm going to talk about my thoughts on him personally before all of this happened and how I saw everything unfold. So honestly, I was there on the day when he was reacting to Super Mario Nick's videos. And then after that, he started reacting to some of my videos. And then that was when I saw that somebody donated a $1 super chat explaining that he is a creep and that they know what he did. And I'll admit, I noticed that SMR was kind of chatty throughout the live stream, but as soon as that super chat came up, he was kind of quiet for a few moments. He wasn't really paying attention to the video. And then after that, he just suddenly ended the video. He just suddenly ended the stream. In my head, at least, I thought maybe it was just a troll just in the comment section. I didn't think of it nothing further. But then after that, that was when some people went in my server, I had some people messaging me about the SMR and what he did, and then that was when they brought up the screenshots, which I'm not going to show. There's a few videos about it on YouTube already if you want to see it. The person, they, they sent the screenshots and I saw them, and then the first thing I noticed was the name, which I never knew SMR's name. Apparently SMN did, but I never did, but that was when I saw the name and the picture. That was when I knew it's undoubtedly him. And then after the images surfaced, SMR just outright deleted everything. All of his socials, including his own YouTube account. Everything was gone. And I think like when I saw that video where it was taught, where we're showing the chats in the live stream, um, uh, the guy was typing, oh, you deleted the super chat. So apparently I think he deleted the, the super chat. And then that's when he ended the stream. And then a couple hours later, that's when his address got leaked in a video or a community post because it showed a community post of his address. He obviously blurted out, but 
God damn, dude. That's just, this is just bad. I don't know what's going on with the SMR right now. I don't know if like um, he's gonna be dealing with some things or he's just gonna stay off the internet. And, but like, I, I don't think he can come back to the internet. I don't think he can because you know, once you do something that bad, like, you know, if you're a, an, an adult, you know, over the age of 18, and you get caught messaging minors, grooming with minors, that's already done. Like, it's a done deal. Like, nobody's gonna look at you the same. Nobody's gonna put some respect on you because of, you know, your actions. And, you know, you can't come back to the internet thinking, you know, everyone's gonna welcome you back with open arms because that's obviously not gonna be the fucking case. He's off the internet. He is just done. He is just off the internet completely. So, yeah, I don't really have much to say about the SMR personally because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't really know who the SMR was like before until like, you know, I started watching the Super Mario Nick and Ray Rant. They would talk about the SMR here and now and then. And I viewed his channel a couple times and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So yeah, I'm not really too familiar with the SMR, but I have seen his channel a couple times and I probably saw a video or two from him. So I don't know too much about the SMR. I've never talked to him. I've never um, really was in his, I never was in a stream of his and yeah, like I'm not, I'm nothing, I've never talked to him at all. So yeah, I don't know anything about him besides, you know, the information that Ray Rance and Super Mario Nick would go, would talk about him. So yeah, that's just that. I don't know where this situation is going to go. Honestly, I don't know if like more information more information is going to come out about smr or if this is just done like smr he's completely off the internet we're not going to hear from him e either ever or for a long time i don't know if he'll like he'll ever come back and try to explain the situation i don't know if he will i highly doubt that because you know like i said if, if you if you <laughs> if something like this happens to you it's done it's like a done deal like it's hard like it's almost pretty much impossible to recover from something like this and it's just very bad it, it's very bad so if all this is 100 percent true if the chat is real if the smr is really grooming with uh an underage uh girl then i'm just gonna say this he's a fucking terrible person like really like you're 19 years old you, you have like so much potential for your future. You have a YouTube channel that's, you know, doing really, really good. You have 30,000 subscribers. You're, you, you're a student in university. You have a lot of things going on in your life and you just fucking destroy it just from doing this. Like, really, dude? Just really, like, I know I don't know the SMR like that. Like, I've never, I, I never, I don't really watch his videos. I rarely go on his channel. But the fact that he does the fact that he does this, dude, really, I, I don't fucking get people sometimes. You have to have like that big of a fucked up mind to do something like that. So yeah, that's me going over the SMR um, situation. It's pretty fucked up. The SMR, <sighs> he's done. He's done. Like nobody's gonna look at him the same. Nobody's gonna respect him anymore. It's a done deal. It's done. So. Yeah, SMR, <sighs> you're a creep. You're a terrible person for doing something like this. Like, why? Why are you doing something like this? You have so much potential in your life and you decide to fucking light it on fire all because you want to talk to an underage girl. That's fucking retarded. Like, I'm being dead serious. That's fucking retarded. So anyways, that's, so anyways, that's me talking about the SMR situation. Um, I will leave the links in the description to Ray Rant's Super Mario Nixa video of uh, talking about this if you guys want to watch their videos about it. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, SMR, you're a disgusting person. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you like this, be sure to like, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications. And, um, yeah, that's basically about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, take care. Before I end this video, like right before I was about to upload uh, this video right here. All right, before I end this video, right before I was about to upload this video, Super Mario Nick actually released a video titled Final Update on the SMR. 
and he pretty much just gave an update about the whole situation. He had a conversation with one of the victims of SMR, and it seemed like it was an actual victim. Like, it wasn't like someone who was just trying to pretend that they were a victim of the situation. No, this, according to Nick, it seemed like an actual victim of this whole situation. He also mentioned that the address that was leaked on SMR's channel, it wasn't SMR's at all. It seemed like it was another YouTuber's address. So some other random YouTuber's address is just leaked. And it's best not to know because we don't want anyone to find out whose um, address that is. And yeah, it's, this is just a fucked up situation. And um, yeah, he just pretty much goes over um, final updates he has on the whole SMR uh, situation. So yeah, um, it seemed like the situation is just going to die down and the SMR... We don't know what's going to happen to him. We don't know what's going to happen to him. We just know that he's just no longer on the platform. It's best for him to stay off the platform and not come back because no one is going to look at him the same. No one's going to respect him. So, yeah, that's all I have for this video. I don't think I need to mention anything else. Um, if you want to see the videos that I've mentioned in this video, then, like I said, the links are in the description. So, with that being said, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, take care.